Hey guys, it's Alicia from Chalk with Chip. Just real quick, wanted to share with you how I'm going to put this transfer onto this round board. How easy it will be to put the transfer on and then add your, your handles to make your tray. So real quick, just want to go ahead and share with you that I have waxed all of these boards by hand, stained them. You can pick up those boards at Home Depot. Uh, the, right next to the lumber area and with all of our chalk couture transfers you're going to have instructions on the back of each transfer so you can know exactly what to do when when you use your your transfers on any kind of surface so today we're going to do the chickens on here and my grain is going to go up and down vertically you can choose to do it diagonally, you can choose to do it horizontally, but I'm going to go ahead and put the chickens right in the middle. All of our transfers are sticky back. So if you can see, they're shiny, but they're sticky. So they're repositionable transfers that you can lay on any surface, on fabric, on On wood surfaces and glass. So before I lay this down on here, it's a little sticky, I'm going to go ahead and fuzz this, which means I'm going to put it on another piece of fabric and smooth it out. Try to pick up some of the lint from the fabric so that your transfer isn't too sticky. Because if it's too sticky, then it'll be harder for it to peel back up when you take it off of your surface. So. We're going to be using chalk paste today, and I think that's kind of where I want my chickens to go, right in here. Can you see that? Scoot this up a little bit, like that. Can you see that? All right, so the chickens are going to be in here, and you want to smooth out all of the air bubbles, because you don't want your chalk paste to bubble up underneath it, run in any areas. So you want to get all of those air bubbles out. And if the, your transfer wrinkles, you can pick it back up and use the squeegee to get all of that mesh stuck onto your surface. And it's okay if you don't use the whole transfer. You don't stick your whole transfer on your surface. Just make sure you get the silk screen areas stuck to your surface. So. We're just going to use one chalk paste color today because I just want that farmhouse look. We're going to be using Chalkology paste and the color is Fawn. So it's kind of like an off, off white, maybe tan beige color. It's really, really nice color and I think it's going to look really nice on this dark of the surface. So we are going to be using this at the Seniors Chalk event coming up this month and we're just going to show you real quick what these chickens are going to look like after I get done. So I take my squeegee and I apply a generous amounts of chalk, the chalk paste, all over my surface. And then I'm going to squeegee them through the mesh of the transfer. So what I like to tell people is keep your squeegee like 90 degrees perpendicular to your, to your transfer and you'll be able to get all of the chalk paste to go through your um, your transfer without a lot of heartache. So we'll add some more right over here. And you want to apply good pressure. Let the squeegee do all of the work. And your main focus is just to work fast with the chalk paste and then squeegee off any extra Put it back in your jar because as crafters we like to save everything and reuse and repurpose so definitely get all of your extra chalk put it back in the jar for later and then now you're ready for the reveal so we're going to peel this back and we're going to see these chickens on your board oh my goodness look at that 
what do you think? Isn't that cool? It's super easy. This will dry really fast. But it gives us enough room to put our handles on our tray, like so. And it'll be so super cute when it's finally done. So when you what you need for these is I would do a measure, a measuring um, stick, like a yardstick or a ruler, and figure out how how far down you want them to be to make them even. For the class, we will have a template for you to use. For the chickens, if you decide that you want to do brown or like a red brick, rusty color, we can mix some brown with red. And so you can design your chickens any way you want for the workshop. But for this one, just for the demo, I'm just sharing. This is how I want my chickens to be on my board. We will spray this down tomorrow on a nice day. Make it, you know, seal it so it's permanent, so it does not come off at all. But for the handles, we will measure them. I will use a Sharpie and mark the holes on each of the handles here. And then I will use a, a drill, a cordless drill, with the appropriate drill bit for the size of this little screw that's going to go through the hole. So we're probably looking at probably this one, maybe this one. We'll drill some holes into the wood and then we can screw these little screws, the hardware in there, and then you'll have a finished tray. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. I will post a picture of what it looks like, but super easy. I mean, you can do this multiple times on many different surfaces because the transfers are all reusable and it it doesn't take very long at all. You're not having to sit there and, and paint it, wait a few hours for it to dry. It's going to be dry in no time. So here, it's a little still wet, you know. It's okay. You just wait. You can take the heat gun, warm it up, and it'll dry really fast. And that's it. This is what Chaka Tour is. It's super simple, easy, fun crafts that you can make at home. You can make them with your kids. You can make them with your oldies. You can do um, birthday parties, gifts, baby showers, you name it. You can even do sip and chalk workshops. So just real quick, wanted to share with you. It's super easy. This, you know, you could do it once you get the hang of it. 30 seconds, you'll be done. Spray it down and you have a finished project. So let me know what you think and I'm going to be posting this out real soon. Thanks.